video today, we're going to look at how to get some basic sounds out of the conga drums and learn some basic patterns. The first thing that we're going to need is some muffled sounds. To do that, we're going to, because they're big drums, we can get our whole hand on them. And we use these muffled sounds as the basis of our rhythm. Um, if everything's big open sounds, our patterns don't sound very interesting. So this is our bass rhythm. And then our open sounds is where we let our hand strike the drum, but uh, we kind of bounce off a little bit. So the rim of the drum, I'm going to feel in this part of my hand, which gets my fingers towards the middle of the drum. If you notice, as I hit, my fingers are always going to be pointing up because I don't want to leave my fingers against the skin, otherwise we stop it from vibrating and we don't get our open sound. So fingers up. And as I hit the drum, just the force of hitting the rim, if my hand's nice and relaxed, my fingers will just kind of bounce down. And I should be feeling that sensation kind of in, in this part of my fingers to get my nice open sound. Now let's put those two um, techniques together, our closed sounds and our open sounds, to create a little pattern. This is going to be uh, an eight note pattern. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. All right, a little bit faster now. One and two and three and four and one and two The second pattern we're going to learn is going to use some very specific conga techniques, uh, which is our heel toe. Now, this will be done using my left hand, and I'm going to do heel toe, heel toe. So the heel of my palm and then my fingertips. Heel toe, heel toe. Now, we can do it in both hands. It's good to practice in both hands. Heel toe, heel toe. In here I get very muffled sounds and that's going to be the basis of our rhythms just like our last pattern. All right so heel toe. The second sound we're going to do is our slap sound. Now it's going to be similar to my open stroke but I'm going to leave my left hand on the drum to muffle the skin, apply maybe a little bit of pressure and if I play my open stroke now I get this sound. If I want a little bit more poppy, aggressive uh, slap sound, um, I'm just going to curl my fingers around. Instead of my open stroke where I feel the sensation here, I'm now going to curl around and feel it in my fingertips. And hopefully you can hear, we get a little bit more of a high pitched sound. And that's what we call for our slap sound. And you can see the same thing, just bouncing off. Very important to a very quick attack on the drum. Maybe a little bit of extra wrist motion, bit of wrist, bit of forearm. All right, let's combine those together now. I'm gonna do a heel toe with my left hand, and I'm gonna leave my hand nice and flat on the drum for my slap sound. Heel, toe, slap, heel, toe, slap. Now let's extend the pattern out and get our low drum in as well. 
or if we've just got one drum, we can do an open tone here. So we could go heel, toe, slap, heel, toe, open, heel, toe, slap, heel, toe, and to get my open, I've got to lift my left hand up. Heel, toe, slap, heel, toe, open. All right, this time I'm going to do a, um, my open stroke down here. Heel, toe, slap. Alright, so practice those, and there are a couple of little patterns that will work in most pop and rock songs, and of course, um, conga drums used extensively in Cuban music, so a lot of Latin or any African-based music is going to be using our conga drums as well. Okay, have fun!